Hey, welcome back to Fit Survive channel. So I have a compact keychain multi-tool from Titaner. Now you might recognize the company Titaner. Um, I recently reviewed the Titaner Tie Roller, which is a basic measuring device. Also really cool EDC gear. I reviewed that with this uh, EDC pocket organizer. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go back and watch that video. So anyways, this is their Tie Spanner 2.0. And so it is a very fidgety little multi-tool. Um, and before I get into the utility of this, I want to kind of talk about how I can see me using this. Because with this being such a small little tool, it's not going to be the best at anything. Um, it's not going to be the most convenient, you're not going to get the most leverage. But if you carry this, let's say, on your keychain, or let's say you attach it to the uh, zipper pull on a hoodie, or even like say on your, well, like an EDC pack, then I can see it coming in handy from time to time. Maybe if you didn't have any other tools with you, um, it might you know, end up saving your life, right? Or <laughs> saving the day kind of thing. Um, so again, it's just, it's not gonna be the best at anything, but if you have it with you all the time, I can see it coming in handy. All right, so with that thought in mind, uh, kind of moving on from there. So it has an adjustable spanner. So this opens up, you can see it also has a caliper. So you can open this up all the way to 3.5 centimeters or one and three eighths of an inch. So we'll be measuring, we'll be uh, checking to see if that caliper is accurate here just a bit. Let's go open this up. I'll show you what it looks like all the way open. All the way up to the 3.5 centimeters. And so I wouldn't want to be trying to <laughs> loosen up or tighten a bolt this large. But again, if you're using this as a caliper, it lets you measure things uh, like that. But anyways, for like a smaller bolt, um, again, if you did not have anything on you, let's say for tightening or loosening up a bolt like this, this is of course gonna be a lot better than if you were using your bare hands to try to tighten or loosen a bolt. Uh, a really cool thing about the, the spanner is that once you clamp it into place, like this, uh, you can see it really, it tightens down, which that I did not expect. I expected it to be a bit sloppy, uh, you know, and come loose by itself. And so that's kind of cool too, in and of itself, that it tightens down really well and stays nice and tight. Uh, so you can basically almost use this, not literally like pliers, but kind of like pliers, to be able to grab down on something, uh, you know, maybe twist it if you needed to and so on. So once again, like I said, you're not gonna get a whole bunch of torque, but I think it'd be more than enough to uh, loosen up some smaller bolts like this. So when you have it open, you can see right here, you also have like this um, basic nail puller. And again, it's not gonna be for any like large, long nails, but something like this, like what you'd use for hanging uh, like a picture or whatever, uh, you could actually even like clamp down on it here. Anyways, and I think you get more than enough leverage uh, to pull out a nail like this, something small. Um, also, I can see it coming in handy. I intentionally put a staple in this plywood. So this is three millimeter plywood. You see that staple went all the way through. So I can see it coming in handy. Like if you need to remove a staple from something, be it wood or be it like maybe cardboard, uh, you can use it for that. There we go, got under that. Kind of twist it out of there. All right, so once again, you know, it can come in, come in handy. It's not gonna be the best really at anything. Um, like if it's nut season since it's fall and you're needing to like break open a nut, uh, the same thing, you tighten down, kind of break open the nuts and stuff like that. So I can see again, it coming in handy um, <laughs> with several different things like that. All right, let's get to the caliper. So let's set the caliper right at one centimeter. It's gonna be the large line right after the number one. Now, of course, it's not gonna be like dead on the money because it's not you know, like a fine-tuned caliper, but let's see how it looks. All right, so it is showing 10 millimeters, which is basically one centimeter. And of course, you got a couple of small digits there as well. I mean, so it seems to be fairly accurate. I don't know what, how often I'd be using the caliper. Uh, it's a cool thing. It's a nice to have a little extra utility, um, but not something I can see me using quite as often, but cool nonetheless. Well, that's another thing about this is like, it's one of the things where if, you, if you're out, at, out like with your friends, you put this on a table, it definitely gets attention. Uh, people want to see what it is. It's just a really cool, really small little multi-tool here. All right, so one more thing here with the adjustable spanner. You see that right there in the back is meant for as a bottle opener. And so you can see like super easy popping that open, like as if we did not have enough bottle openers on our EDC gear. There's one on the tie spanner as well. All right, so another interesting thing about this, and I don't have a spare phone with me, 
uh, but you can use this basically as a phone stand. So you open it up, and now when I showed it to my buddy, he was immediately like, no way, I'm not gonna put that on my screen, on my case, I mean, but basically what you do is you would, you have to like really clamp it down, you can see it's nice and loose. But you set it on the back of your phone, and you can set it up basically as a phone stand like that. Now, will it scratch your screen or your phone case? I don't know, it might. I tried it on my phone and I didn't see any scratches from it. Um, like I said, I don't really wouldn't want to like tighten down on it. So another interesting thing here, you see right here, there's a slot for adding the tritium vial. I actually added this one by myself, um, but they do ship them with tritium vials for like an extra $20. It's called the TIE Spanner 2.0 Pro, if you want the, uh, uh, the included tritium vial. All right, so another thing here it has on the back, you can see is a tungsten spike. Now what's interesting about this tungsten spike is they basically have shown it as being a bladeless way of opening packages. And so basically just kind of that concept right there. You can see it cuts in the cardboard, cuts through the tape. And so like if you wanted to carry this like even like on a plane, I don't see why TSA would have any issues with this. And you still have that small little spike on the back um, that you could use for opening packages or cutting tape and things like that. Also, that tungsten spike is meant as an emergency glass breaker. Now, how much, once again, how much leverage are you gonna have with a small little tool like this? I mean, if you're desperate, I imagine you'd be able to get it to work. Uh, but again, you do have that small little tungsten spike uh, there on the back. And then the last thing that they've included is a nail file right here, which originally I thought was kind of strange. I mean, it's, you got all these manly tools and you got a nail file, but there is an extra thing to the nail file. I don't know if you can see very well here or not, but it is just slightly raised above the rest of the frame. And that is meant to be so you could use it as a knife sharpener. And now it really hurts me to do this because I mean, it's not gonna give you a nice, um, like a mirror edge of course, cause it's a very coarse diamond file. But if you were in like an extreme situation where you needed to sharpen like a very dull knife, uh, you could basically use this, run it down it, couple of times, uh, I really wouldn't suggest cutting towards yourself, but for sake of the video, basically go back and forth like this. And so if it was like very dull and you needed to like desperately put an edge on your blade, uh, you could use this diamond file <laughs> for sharpening your knife. And again, um, I've actually seen a lot of worse diamond sharpeners than this right here. Um, it is not extremely gritty, but enough to where I think if your blade was straight up dull, you'd be able to put a cutting edge back on it. All right, so that is the tie spanner. Like I said, it's not gonna be the best really at anything, but I think it's a really cool, very fidgety little multi-tool here um, that I think you would enjoy using. Uh, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. If this is something you can see yourself using, uh, it's not gonna replace your Leatherman. Uh, it's just something you could add to your keychain to your zipper pull, and I think it I think it'd be pretty handy to have. All right, so this little multi-tool here costs seventy dollars, or I shall say sixty-nine dollars. Um, it's actually marked down right now, uh, and so like I guess the MSRP is like eighty-nine, and it's marked down to sixty-nine dollars. And if you go for the pro version with the uh, tritium vial, then it's going to cost eighty-nine dollars. So like twenty dollars more than the the basic setup. So anyways, that is the tie spanner, and so definitely let me know what you guys think. This is something you can see yourself using, and I'll have a link down in the description of the video. You guys can check this out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.